Actually, I don't have to dupe um, Tower Knights because I'm pretty sure he only makes warding. Same with Phalanx, but ah, it's good to have just in case. It's a backup. Um, I mean, you can... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can make duplicates of the same spell and, yeah, equip multiple, like Dark Souls. I will like one and two, not three. Of course not. That'd be dumb. Okay, what do we got, man? Can I drop any of this to you? Okay, we'll uh, have to do some of this eventually. We'll uh, chuck all this for now. I'm not too fussed about doing this. So I could, with what we've got, um, I could make a lot of shit right now, actually, if I was gonna dupe. But fuck that. That's uh, that's that's bullshit. So we won't. I'm gonna hold on to the pickaxe. I'm gonna get rid of heavy arrows. Um, rings are all pretty good. We'll get rid of the sticky white stuff and the... We'll get rid of that and that. Hmm. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of, Wait, no, I probably should have kept the Shard of Archstone. Yeah, that might be handy. Should we need a Coward Ave Act of the Nexus? I might do it right at the boss door, depending. In which case, I'd cut on the way back, but... Yeah. We'll see. Who knows? Where you at, Maiden? I'm blind, apparently. Oh, there we are. <laughs> hey, Estrava's still here. Cool. Why are you looking up? Thou seeketh so then. Yeah, well, I don't have a problem with it. I'm just kind of curious. Um, hmm. Now, the annoying thing is we can't actually use the pickaxe unless I pop some souls. Yeah. I'd rather have more health. That's kind of annoying. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's really lame, actually. Oh, well, well pickaxe can get fucked then. Oh, there we go. Now, we're going to get a big-ass shield coming up soon. Which will be pretty handy for the boss fight. It's not going to quite be the, uh, the purple flame, but... I need four levels of strength to even consider using that. And it I'd be heavy as hell, too. You know what? I should have grabbed the long sword for the frost. Yeah, well, who cares? Oh yeah, so you know how it mentioned Bior was known to use a big-ass sword? Well, he's using, using a katana there, because, um... The hell if I know. This really is the high life. Except the seat. You, you get it? Because bitch ain't got no legs nor got no tail. Um... Yeah. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'll get a new item and I'll get something to read in a sec. I think, uh, you know what, the LP's kind of front-loaded, actually, in regards to mechanics talk, because I've done most of that already. There'll be lots of time to talk about poison, at least. When we, uh, get to... Oh, fuck. Whoa, so see, full damage, not even too... See, not even too bad. That just, uh, kind of sucked, though. Yeah, with the XXXX and the YYY. Okay, now we're now we're defaulting into random bullshit tour. I've been really good at staying on topic, but alas. Alrighty, let's go. So Stone Fang, um, law. Uh, I ain't got much. Um, they're miners. They're lizardmen for some reason. I ain't gonna judge. I'm, I'm just saying. I don't know why they're lizardmen, but they are. So bagmen stay dead, which is cool. I mean, not really. But, yeah, it's balance. I thought they might have got replaced with other enemies, but evidently not. Hey dudes, sup? Alright, what's the little damage test? Alright, so we are doing more, that's cool. Because we're only doing 25. I don't know if that was a one-handed or two-handed swing, though. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that seems about right. Oh, fuck. That thing above us is being a real dick. Hmm. So, I went ahead and checked, uh, checked bleeding, because I couldn't remember exactly what it did. And we won't be getting bled out in this level, no fucking chance. But what bleeding does in the context of this game is... Well, what you saw the invader do to me. Um, damage over time, no other consequence. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, fuck you. No, you don't. So that's just about as good as the R1. Well, that is better than the R1. But we can do this way more consistently. So I haven't shown off trading with them, and uh, I don't want to for various reasons. 
because it um, because it sucks. That's that's basically it. Now one of these guys is gonna get. That's the guy at the end, right? Who's just there? How's this guy? Who foolishly left his back exposed? We'll get the items in a sec. Yeah, I don't know what their uh, don't know what their plan was. Normally they are. Uh... <laughs> uh, nice, nice, good ship. I don't know why, um, but sure. Unless they can't get up there for some reason. Yeah, that'd be strange. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he was. Past tense. Not now. Yeah, welcome back to the old souls problem of, hey, why can't I grab these? Because fuck you. Radio, Perfect. Another thing to talk about. So, over to my left, as I walk out this door. There is a crystal lizard right around this corner. Now, for ages, I couldn't find the other way up. There was meant to be items. There's items on the roof that I could always see, but I couldn't figure out how to get through. Um, by the way, these are explosive barrels. They also fuck the frame rate, so that's cool. So yeah, I was dumb, and I totally missed that. So this is the better way to approach. Because on top of that, we get the grass, which honestly, eh, that's fine. This is what I'm after. Wait, no, it's not. It's the thing right... Yeah, basically. What am I saying? It's this thing here. Now, this is why I should have grabbed the bow, which, oh boy, I forgot to get again, so that's clever. Now, I'm pretty sure I need 20 strength for this, right? No, I can. not sick. Alright, we're going to be heavy as fuck. Hey, how about we do this? Let's have a look. So, steel shield. Oh, let's have a look. Guard break is 60, so that's already better than this. Um, yeah. Same stats. I think this might be... I think they're about equal in fire defense. Ah, uh, but as you can see, um, nothing really going on here. A large-sized steel shield. It is simply made, but as a result, it has high defensive strength. So, you know, um... It's made of metal. That's about it, really. Alright, so uh, that's all we got going on. Alrighty. I am a big fan of big fucking shields like this. Now, there's dudes up the front that will throw rocks. So the intention is, when you run at the lizard, he will run into the pack. And they will proceed to attempt to fuck you up really hard. What the hell? Oh, that works. Can you guys follow me down? You able to? No? No? Okay. Well, that's lucky. We, we almost fucking fell into the lava. And yeah, there's no coming out of that. If only there was some way to get rid of it. Hmm. Boy, that tone of voice seems to suggest there's a chance. Yep. Read my mind. I must have just missed that message. Eh. No survivors. Oh yeah, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll grab that after. There's two items over there. So yeah, you can see the lizard. Having a look. Just kind of hanging down. Oh, what's going on over here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I fucking did that, but hey. Okay, so we thinned out the herd a little. And by a little, I mean one. Now, we seem to have uh, disturbed our compadres. I did even kill it. Fantastic. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, so uh, heated weapons. Um, good shit. Fire. Fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's meant to be beavers and butthead or just weevil under wood. Ah, uh, thank you, you, you abridged. Okay, um, great spacing, mate. Yeah, the frame rate's kind of taking a shit here. What's that Queens of the Stone Age song? The fun machine took a shit and died. Yeah, I mean, fun machine hasn't died in this context. I'm enjoying it still. Alrighty, come on you. Yeah, I haven't really... I, there's not a lot to say about the lore, I guess, um, of Stone Fang. So they mentioned, what, they work... They um, they did shit for the Boletarian family, I don't know. The royal... They, they're mining for the royals, apparently. You know what? I was wrong. The guys at the back, they were the uh, boulder throwers, my bad. Um, but yeah, like... I'm pretty sure this is where Boletari gets most of their cool shit. All the medals and stuff. 
Boy, I'm hoping I don't get hit. Okay, good. If I got hit by both of them at once, I was basically fucking dead. Alright, now I don't think the dagger's gonna do too much good against this little sneaky fuck. So, he's gonna make a break for it. Good thing he gets caught on this pretty much every time. The only downside is if he falls. Like so. Haha, <laughs> we caught ya. Hit shit. Now this guy drops spider stone. Hmm, what is spider stone? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm sure you fucking did. So, a shard of fabric like transparent ore, mainly used to enhance bows. Well, it's only used to enhance bows. An ore used to make delicate bows, weapons um, strengthen can be taken a plus five. Yeah, that part's getting a little repetitive, isn't it? So, similar to clear stone off the top of my head, it's... Bows can be quality. Um, they can also be infused with, like, hard or sharp, depending on the type they are, but... I think... Unless you've got some very particular stats, I think a, um, a spider infused bow is always going to be better. Okay, let's try to get this right. Oh, thank Christ. Cool. Great club. Uh-huh. So the only problem is we're going to drop again. That sucks. Really? I mean, you can have a like, but... I don't know, Stone Fang's not too bad. Latria is way better. <laughs> yeah, Latria is way harder if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know how to just backstab the fuckers. Alright. Charmander's back, so let's fucking look him. Huh. How about that? So I should just show off. Yep. Pretty standard stuff. That's our shield bash in this game. Now, in apparently in Dark Souls 1 and 2, shield bashes can be parried. I don't know about this game. Um, and obviously, I don't think we're going to get a lot of opportunities to test that out. So, yeah, who gives a shit? Oh, while we're here. I mean, I was being pretty blatant. Yeah, look at this. You can, uh... Well, you can make it eventually, but not now. There wouldn't be staircases like that otherwise. Oh, that'd be a huge stroll, am I right? And unlike... I'm pretty sure, yeah, that unlike Dark Souls 3 and even 1... Yeah, you can't walk across that shit. I mean, I don't know and I don't want to find out. So, sadly, you can't... Well, apparently you can get on this. Um, it just doesn't yield anything, but that's, that's cool to know. I just don't want to fall again. Yeah, I can't walk through there. But yeah, there's an item over there, so we are going to head up there, and we're going to come around and end up where the items are. So, as you can see, our massacre went quite well. Yeah, if you try to chase the crystal lizard head on, that's a fucking massacre, alright. Just not for us. Zaka's dogs. Zaka's dogs, because I feel like that's because dogs. Did I mention dogs? I think I did. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it's to hit them for some... I don't know why you do that. Man, I really should have brought the bow. Oh, nah. I'd like to think it's talking about these guys, but who knows. Yep. Um, that went well. Uh, that was weird. So these guys can do a lot of damage, but as you can see, wow, their stamina damage is pretty fucking high, isn't it? Pretty fucking high indeed. Let's cast Water Veil just for a little more defense. Now, fuck you. <laughs> Eat shit. Oh! Oh, that's weird. Doggo came up to say hi. That's, uh, that's clever. Yeah? What else you got? Yeah, so I don't think... This shield's not particularly good against fire, but... It's pretty decent compared to just, like, most starting shields. As I said, I'm pretty sure it's on, on par with Kite. Maybe a little better, if anything, but I'm pretty sure it's not. If it is, it's not much better. But I probably wouldn't even think it is better than the Kite. I think it's about even. 
Yeah, so those guys, these guys have that weird smelter demon area of effect fire. Kind of shitty. Um, not as bad as smelter though. But it's almost like smelter demons meant to be hard. Now, the lizards can drop, um, meltstone. I think they can drop for dragonstone too. I think that's maybe what the miners can drop. Yeah, maybe the miners can drop that too. I can't remember though. Yeah, drop tables are, uh, a lot of time hasn't been spent into looking into them, or at least on the wikis. Huh. You're a prophet, ain't you, man? Cheers. Good shit. So that's where we were. We've just come round. This is just a little something you don't need to grab, but hey. It's almost like it's Ed's grindstone. Mm, cool. Man, I feel like I'm losing my voice, so I apologize. Yeah, I got, I, I got the sniffles, so that's, uh... That's fucking great. It's good. Good shit. Well, is that where I think it is? Yeah, alright. So, we are gonna come out there. We're gonna go down and in, into a room, and then we're gonna take that. Which will lead us to the boss area. Now, I've honestly got the health to take Armor Spider, so I'm just gonna go do it. If I die, well, don't worry, I'll uh, cut the ship. I'm just thinking maybe I'll go back to the kite, because it's lighter and I can wear more armor as consequence. Also, I'm not really needing the thief ring for the boss fight, so I'll probably pop on something that lets me wear a little more. That would probably be handy, because armor spider spits fireballs. It's how you get one of the, um, I think, yeah, which fire spell do you get from it? I think it's the equivalent of combustion, but I could be wrong. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it, oh, fucking eggs grindstone, go away. I'm pretty sure it's what the uh, fat ministers use. Okay, now, typically, we'll walk forward and grab that, and okay, normally we trigger him. Okay, so now you're seeing trading, be trading with these guys, and how much it sucks. Because it's doing about half my health. Hey, another cutscene. In most Souls games nowadays, you wouldn't see this, would you? Which makes sense. Uh, I mean, they kind of like... They, they kind of prefer you to figure it out yourself. And they're kind of better at showing it to you about a cutscene, but... That could be a playtest thing, maybe. People just didn't notice the lava. Oh. So that's that animation. I've never actually seen that. Huh. Cool. I'm gonna leave the thief ring on because I don't remember if there's another crystal lizard in the level. Also, I'd like to point out all that effort. And look, we're only at 920 souls. Huh. How about that? Boy, if that was um, any other souls game, we'd have like a couple of thousand. Not not Demon Souls though. Do, 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 do. I mean, you don't have to drop that. Poison resistance. We'll look at that in a sec. Large sharp stone. Ooh, sharp. What am I saying? Harpoon grass. Yes. Run straight through. I mean, I'll say yes, but yeah, that's uh, I don't know about that advice. While we're here and we're in relative safeness. So we've got two of these. And we picked up gas resistance. So all of these rings are made by Jerry Gary, whatever the fuck, I don't care. So main thing is, deep green seal increases poison defense. This being a, a bright red seal stops bleeding. Oh, our main thing is, this the seal's design is a fissure. Meanwhile, this one is a skull. So, you'll notice, our resistances are going up pretty decently. Now, what these rings do is, they multiply your character's base, uh, bleed resistance, poison resistance, plague resistance, by four. It doesn't factor in armor, it's just your character's base resistance. So, can we have a look at that? No, we'd have to take off the armor. Ah, well, fuck that. I ain't bothering with that. Screw that. Uh, so, I don't know about those two. I mean, during the invasion, yeah, they actually probably would have been handy. But, yeah. 
Yeah, we were going to die anyway. He was too well prepped. Okay, so straight through obviously meant something else. Hmm, wonder what's going to happen here. We well, attacked a frame rate, like an EDF bug, so there's that. Come on, you can do it. We're going to back the fuck up. Now, these aren't Deacons of the Deep Fireballs that'll track you to infinity if given the chance, so don't worry. But they are kind of annoying nonetheless. <laughs> fuck you. Alright, well, that's how you deal with them now. Hmm. Cool. I don't know if I'm going to use the Claymore over this. I probably should. Huh? Huh? How about that? I probably should um, swap to the Claymore, but like, as a bit of rule of fairness, I won't do that for a little while still. Just because like, all the stuff I bought, you know, I, I cheated to get. So it's kind of unfair if I use it immediately. If so, I'd kind of want to hold off levels. As a... Hmm. As a, as a, as a trade-off. So I was just admiring this. And what we missed over there was that guy was hanging up up there, throwing boulders. I mean, it honestly is, because that guy will chuck it and then he'll just fucking fall down like an idiot. Now let's see, can we get a cheeky backstab like Meralda? Yep, very easily. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, almost at the end of this. Rad. So the intention is that guy will sneak up on you. Unless there's another one. I don't think there is. I see some eyes. <laughs> that feels paranoid as fuck, but... It's not. Because there might be someone. I don't think there is, but... No, it's just the fire. Cool. Be wary of the enemy's rhythm. That is some solid advice right there. Oh, fuck you. Ugh. Okay, so boss is down that lift. We'll, uh, we'll do that in a sec. We just need to grab this item. It's another another thing to talk about. It's pretty cool, actually. I've actually, I've kind of used it on one build. Um, not super important. I don't know if you can land in there, and if what happens if you do get stuck. Only I had some friends. Well, look, man, I put down a sign, but I don't think I'm getting anyone. Honey, <gasps> massacre. I had no idea that was there. I think I've genuinely missed that every time. Huh. Thank you. That's a really good message. I mean, I've only played this game like what? I've had like 12 accounts perhaps that I've taken a bit. Like what? Like three quarters through the game at the most? Eh. Something like that. Alright, so we'll descend and then I'll read the item. Now I'm pretty sure there's no more enemies. It's just us and the boss. That wasn't a drop off, was it? Fuck, if it was, that'd be crazy. Pretty sure if it's not in this game, or at least not here. Ah, yeah, so, um, if I hadn't told you it was Armored Spider, and you didn't know, well, Armored Spider, not Armored Spider. No, fuck you. Fine, let's humor you. Yeah, eat shit. Axe. What happened? Axe happened. Yeah, I can't be fucked even attempting to do Axe's voice. Oh, you, uh, fell. Well, uh... That was, uh, that was a clever idea. So what you want to do is this, I guess. So in case we die. As you can see, nothing down there. Now, this pit kind of makes sense, but it's kind of... Uh, it's annoyed me about FromSoft games. I don't know why they don't just put a fucking floor underneath. I don't know why anyone would make a giant fucking pit like that. It's a little bizarre. Whoops, I want you on, just in case. I'll put full moon on too. Okay, Kling is super important right now. Um, Herculean. No, we want great strength. Okay. Let's have a look. We have my helmet. We can get rid of the dagger. Haha! -ha. Beautiful. So yeah, that's that thing I was talking about. You'll hear. Our rolls aren't making any noise right now. Hmm. Crazy, isn't it? Alright, now we don't have any weapon in that hand. Um, I'll show off that shit in a second, actually. Um, so, this can go in our main hand. 
yeah. You know what? I need to take a quick break to use the bathroom. So you know what? This will be a great place to just stop and to make a quick cut. I will be back in a few minutes. Alright, and about four minutes later. Nah, probably less, whatever, doesn't matter. Let's show off for great club. So, same weight as the Bastard Sword, but requires two more strength. So, I don't think this will surprise anyone when I tell you this pales in comparison to every other great club in the Soul series. So, this is its moveset. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of alright, but not really great. So, that's what the axe roll attack is, too. Don't worry, I'm not going to get closer to the pit. I'm not going to fall in, it's cool. So that, at least... That's a pretty cool combo, but... Pretty fucking slow. R2. R2. Now let's have a look. How strong is it? 160. So it's stronger than our Bastard Sword for the meantime. Now, something cool about these... Well... It's honestly not that cool, it's kind of shit. But, um, the wooden weapons in this game can't be reinforced. They can be used um, to turn into boss weapons, however. And they can't have fire buffs applied to them. Which does make sense. I'm kind of happy they got rid of that, though. Um, as a consequence, I was going to talk about this, so... Um, your weapon, similar to Dark Souls 1, there's, a, there's, there's a point your weapon has to be infused to, to be turned into a boss weapon. One good thing about the Great Club, the club, etc, is, they can only be at plus zero, so, if I had a boss soul I could use right now, if I had a beat, um, a Vanguard, I would have had a soul, and I could have made the Dozer Axe with, I think you can make it with this, I don't, I think I'm wrong. But this can turn into a machete you get from... You have a great machete that you get from a different boss. But yeah, um, large wooden spike. I, a large wooden club. Lots of iron spikes. Among the larger weapons which knock enemies back, this one is comparatively lighter and easy, easier to use due to its wooden nature. So, A scaling and strength, pretty handy. I don't know if this weapon's actually good. I've never done a prolonged playthrough with it. We will, in the next level, run into two enemies using this exact setup. Um, no armor though, to my knowledge. Or at least, very limited armor. Meanwhile, Chris Blade. This is pretty sick. So you'll notice, magic weapon. A small ceremonial blade. Well, sword. I'm a fraud, I'm sorry. Old runes are expertly chiseled into the blade. Used as an aid for incantations, the wielder's magic increases. Though, he or she will suffer more magical damage. So as you can see, our magic, uh, magic resistance is dropping by 12. So this is the prototype for the Dust Crown. You know, the anime ears, that thing. Um, yeah, pretty handy for a magic build. I've got the, um, the female character I was talking about who's got morale to set and a bunch of other stuff is a weird hybrid build I try to do in all the games where it's half magic, half, um, faith. Not a hexer, though. They're as close as you can make a hexer. So in Dark Souls 1, they use Delka's shit, just cause. And in this game, well, you know. Oh, boy, I get to show off boss mechanics really fucking quick. Yay. So this is Armor Spider. Um, I'll talk about magic another time. Mm. So we're gonna apply this. So you saw two things, very quickly. Um, one, we got hit by a spider web, which slowed me the fuck down. Um, two, we got hit by fire. So, this boss is actually kind of interesting. So, as you can see, there's a lot of big heavy hits, but there's plenty of time to regen our stamina if we drop our shield. It does this, which gives us the chance to go in and go for a swing or two. I was slow there, so I missed out. Now, you'll notice something about the pattern. It'll do this a few times. Okay, which gives us a chance to run in and hit. We can probably go for a second. Now, if it starts making... Okay, we got caught in the webs. Okay, so this is the problem. I think you can guess what's about to happen here.
Oh, come on. Oh, we tanked it right to the end. Now we're going to back up. So you're seeing the pattern of this boss fight. Oh, fuck. Ow. My mistake was trying to, uh, trying to roll right at the end. I should have just kept walking. So, like I was saying, most... Oh, wow, he hit me. Fuck yeah. Most Demon Souls bosses are kind of puzzles. Armored Spider... Fuck you. Hit me through the wall. Armored Spider works like this. You work your way up, you hit, or you can, and then you have to back up when the fire happens. So, that little outcropping, intentional or not, I feel like it's got to be, is a great way to go, fuck you, Armored Spider, you're not hitting me. As you can see, the fire will knock off the, um... Or the fire will knock off the weapon. We're talking to the heavy. Oh, this is the bad one. So it's got a nice flow to it. I don't mind it. I know it's not for everyone. People don't like the puzzle bosses nearly, much, nearly that much, but... If it didn't have a gimmick like this, it wouldn't feel nearly as interesting, I think. I mean, it's just going to be like the Duke's Tear Freya, which I do like again. I'm a heretic. But... I know Duke's Tear Freya isn't regarded as an exceptional example of boss design, but I still like it. But yeah, we're about halfway. Things are going pretty well. We're just taking our time. This is the point we run. So it's, it's pretty cool. I like this boss. Fuck. That's right. It's got a hell of a range on it too. Uh-oh. So that's the power of Water Veil, because we just took that to the fucking face. So yeah, if you um if you were some kind of weird strength in build, this might actually be a really fun fight. Because you could have this big ass shield and you could just cast away. Because this is back when I believe casting takes no stamina. A la Dark Souls 1 style, but could be wrong with that. So yeah, you could just sit here with your purple flame shield or brushwood and just yeah, do this. So if we're any closer, we'll get smacked by that, and it's kinda shitty. Now, we'll probably need one more cycle. Whoa, holy shit. So yeah, as you can see, this boss fight takes in place in the tunnel. This is what I was talking about, where you can walk over armor, where you can walk over your arena. Oh, fuck you. Get fucked. Fuck you, armor spider. Use a bitch. Anyway. There's goodies in the webs. So there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lizard right there. So, uh, how about they fuck off? Farewell, my friend. Hmm, how sad. So yeah, fluted armor. He gave it a good crack. He gave it a good shot. So... Um, okay. I'm sure you did. So, up ahead. We won't be progressing any further for the day, because I don't think my voice is going to hold out. And we've achieved what I wanted to. Oh yeah, we get some good shit. I'll read that when we get back to the Nexus. So, up ahead, you can see the lizard. You might be able to see the miner standing against the wall, and there's one just... Yeah, there's one just there. You can make him out. There's a left and a right tunnel... The lizard runs down the right, and there's a fuck ton of miners. You have to be able to take the lizard out fast. Um, if we go down right, there's some mine carts that are... Ah, that are shits. And there's a fat official down there too, because of course. Of course there is. So anyway... That's, uh, that's the session for the most part. Let's just deposit some stuff I don't need. Alright. I'll, um... I don't know the extent of the duping I'm gonna do... But even as, like, even as I said, it's mostly going to be for a weapon variety. So, yeah. We'll see how far I go. So, very valuable pure spider stone, mainly used to enhance bows. Only used to enhance bows. And all used to make delicate bows. Wait, yeah, same thing. So, this is our slab. It weighs 0 .09, so under one unit still. 
I think this is the lightest, um, pure stone. I think. There's some ones that are much heavier than that, so that's, that's good that it's that light. So we can get rid of all this crap, because I don't need it now. So I'll chuck it after we're finished. Chris Blade goes away. I might hold on to you for a sec, we'll see. We'll see where we're going from here. Alright, well, we got duplicate rings, so you get the fuck out of here. I do like the fact you can get duplicates, it's not bad. I like it. Oh yeah, bows are exceptionally light. Look, it's a single kilo. A well, kilo, what am I saying? It's point one. Now these things are fucking heavy. And, well, you know. You have a they're pretty much on par with this, with this shield in terms of guard block. Well, they are, actually. What the fuck am I saying? Alright, so, let's see. Bow. What do I even need to use this? I need ten decks, which I have. So, I don't really need more decks. But I should probably get a few levels in it. Just like to, to use shit like the pickaxe. Because a lot of weapons are going to start needing some decks. So, you know. Uh, sorry, Giant Dad. But your reign's over. I go to level decks. Alrighty, there we go. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. Oh, one thing I will do is read the... Ah, fuck you. The Hard Demon's Soul. Soul of the Demon Armor Spider. It radiates a strong power. And that's the part it always says. Grants the holder a large number of souls when used alternatively. It can be made into spells, miracles, or weapons. So Colorless Demon. That's... I should have read this. Soul of a Primeval Demon. Don't... You don't feel any power from it. Yeah, so that's the materials like I mentioned. Iron Demon is from Tower. Um, yeah, strong power. Phalanx. So, I, sh I meant to talk about this briefly, so I'll fucking do it now, because screw it. We're almost done. Um, there's a theme that happens in Boletaria, in, um, in the World 1 levels. The three bosses that you encounter on the way to the King... Uh, again, spoiler, uh, fight the king. Uh, well, he's already a bad guy, so no shit. Um, the three bosses you fight on the way to the king are heavily implied to be his former knights. Um, Longbow Ulan, who turns into the lead demon, because it's, it's mentioned somewhere, or people have kind of just, uh, you know, they've read it into it and they've kind of just gone, oh, well... She was a marksman, and she apparently led, like, a little troop. Um, I don't know where the whole idea of it being a phalanx, um, came from. Um, in terms of, like, what she led, but it's either that or she had a crew of marksmen, so close enough. Iron Demon, Tower Knight, I don't remember his name. Um... Ulan's at least mentioned in an item description. I can't rem I'm pretty sure the Tower Knight's name is. I just can't fucking remember. But yeah. Big ass shield and a lance. We find the shield in later in, in the game. In fact, it's the thing that was behind the Driggling Merchant at the start of this episode. Um, and it's behind that door we don't have the key for yet. So, yeah. Tower Knight's shield is fucking heavy. It's fucking awesome. But... I don't think I'm... It's a new game plus, like, two item. You have to be going, like, a dedicated tank to even fucking use it. And Hard Demon, well, nothing to talk about there. You saw Armor Spider. It's a dick. Um, I think that's all the lore we've got there. So, what happened here? Don't tell me. Oh my god, who are you fighting? Who are you fi... No, that doesn't seem right. Maybe it was Frake. If it was the person that shows up here, um... I would have seen him fly. Yeah, um, you get a very powerful spellcaster here one day. And boy, I hope you don't hit them because they have a short temper, supposedly. I don't know why you do that. I don't know why you hurt this person, though. Must be a right bastard to do that. Oh well. Anyway. This gives me a lot more freedom to just kind of mess around and farm for items, um, and whatnot. I don't think I'm going to really do anything in between, but you never know. What do you say? Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry, Maiden. 
I'll dupe the souls off screen just so I got shit. Yeah, it's pretty handy. Boy, if that's the invader, that'd be that'd be awesome bait. Tell invaders to go there and just hang out there all day. I think we'll go to Latrian next. Next episode might be going into here. Into well not there. Into here and into here to have a look. Cause all of these bosses can be a bit of a challenge. Weirdly enough though, this boss is probably the easy one to deal with. Getting to them's not hard, but it can be a pain in the ass. But thankfully, pure white. Because when I got the recording equipment and went in here, it was pure black. And anyone who knows this game, yep, that fucking sucked. Because <laughs> there's a very powerful black fandom right at the front door. Anyway, that's enough of this shit. My voice is going and you guys are probably bored as fuck. So, um, what are you t Fuck you. Now that's the kind of positivity we want to end this on. Mindfulness. Write down what you're happy- what, like, what you're thankful for today. I hate that shit. I really don't like making kids write that shit either. Sometimes it's okay, but... You get stuffed. This guy. I like you. Um... Let's just have a look here. Anything? What what, what do you got, Ray of Sunshine? Honorable one, I hesitate to imagine deep within the darkness. Will you continue? Okay, yeah, no, you're the same thing. Yeah, um, spoiler, he leaves at one point. Never to come back, I believe. He does. It's weird. This guy is here in place of Urbane, and then he just disappears when Urbane comes back. Unlike Freak's Apprentice, I don't get it. Oh yeah, um, before... Urbane come comes back. If you are attacked by a demon, you oh yeah, we heard moon. that. Um, it'll be good to get 20 faith. For reasons. But fuck, it doesn't matter. We can just dupe the, uh... We can just dupe the other thing in a different place. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, see you later. Fuck this. Bye.